The Essential Education Projector Range from Hitachi sponsors ICT programs. Hodge Hill Girls' School in Birmingham. Pupil motivation and confidence in modern foreign languages has been boosted since the investment in their state-of-the-art language laboratory. So does it deliver all it promises to teaching and learning? We follow a Year 7 lesson. Regardez. Regardez tout le monde. Qu'est-ce que c'est, cet animal? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Oui? Un chat. Un chat. Un chat. Répétez tout le monde. Très bien. OK. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Oui. Alicia. Une tortue. Très bien. Répétez tout le monde. Une tortue. Excellent. I love teaching languages. I love teaching. I'm a head of department and a lot of my job is paperwork and phoning people and meeting people. But the best thing is being in the classroom, talking to the kids and getting them to talk to me. C'est quel animal? Levez la main. C'est quel animal? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Sophie. Un oiseau. Un oiseau. Répétez tout le monde. Un oiseau. This interactive PowerPoint presentation, which Marie is using for the whole class, complements the ICT pupils can use on their own workstations. Quickly then. Un chat. Un poisson. Un I think it's great using ICT because you can see all the different colours, you see, hear different people, different voices, so you can get more experience and learning from the ICT computer. Aujourd'hui, nous allons travailler avec les animaux. Objectives. Premier objectif? Practice and revise the names of some of the pets. Second objective is to do some questions about pets, so you can find out from other people about their pets. Third objective is for us to all use the computers and use some of the ICT programs that we've done, and also to have some fun. Il y a, en France, environ 55 millions de Français. The Year 7 lesson is the continuation from a previous lesson that they'd had, learning the names of common pets. They'd also learnt in the past how to describe people and ask questions about people so they can get a description. Saba. Comment s'appelle-t-il or comment s'appelle-t-elle? Comment s'appelle-t-il or comment s'appelle-t-elle? And what today's lesson is about was tying the two things together so they could use the questions they already knew to describe pets rather than people. D'autres questions? Sophie? C'est de quelle couleur? C'est gris et noir. Well, we've had the language lab since October and it has made a big difference to my teaching. The main advantage for me has been the flexibility. Um, it means that I can have very small groups working on their own, totally focused on what they're doing and not be worrying about what you know the others are doing because I can get them all to be doing something or individuals. Fern. Un poisson, très bien. Flexible classroom management in the language laboratory allows Marie to pair up pupils' workstations from her computer, so they can talk to each other through their headsets. Okay, nous allons travailler à deux. Nous allons faire des conversations. Marie can monitor all the Year 7 conversations through her headset. This technology can also be used to record commentary for video clips. Comment t'appelles-tu? Je m'appelle Amri. Comment t'appelles-tu? Je m'appelle Sheila. Tu as un animal? J'ai un lapin. This room is not like an ordinary classroom, so I've had to change some of the ways that I teach. It's also got the wow factor. The students can talk to each other. They can phone each other. We can have all the students working together, or we can have them all working as individuals, or small groups working together. When you're using headsets, it's good because you can use talk to your friend and like speak in French and everything and that instead of like saying it to the whole class because it's kind of embarrassing saying to the whole class because you got like all pressure on you. So the calculator. 
So, what happens when the pupils get into difficulty? If the student has a problem with something they're doing, whether it's with the machinery or, in fact, with their work, then they can press the teacher call button and I'll respond to them through the headphones or I'll go directly to their station. Where you've got pupils having the opportunity to communicate with real people, either peers or adults, in other places in the UK where they're learning languages or abroad, it really enriches the experience and it gives them the opportunity to practice their skills that they're learning in the classroom for a real purpose. The most important thing about students learning a modern foreign language is that it opens them out to the rest of the world. A lot of our students live very insular lives because they're, they're teenagers, the world revolves around them. And for them to see there are teenagers somewhere else in the world doing exactly the same things that they do, going out, um, enjoying themselves, going to school, but doing it in a completely different language with um, maybe some different bits of lifestyle, but still fascinated because they're still the same age, they're still in the same world. And I tried not to emphasize too much the strangeness, but the sameness, because I think for them that's important. MFL GCSE results at the school are very encouraging. They average 65%, A star to C grade. The current national average is 57%. The advent of the internet in recent years has had a big impact in particular on the teaching of modern foreign languages. Um, immediately, all sorts of communication channels are open. I think using ICT is good because you can play games and everything and then you, by playing games you, you get some more knowledge without knowing. The whole area of ICT can seem overwhelming, so where do you begin? My advice to a teacher trying to get started in the use of ICT and MFL would be to start small and to focus very much on the potential impact on learning of the ICT they're using. I think there's a tendency sometimes to think that you need to go in and to entertain the pupils and to do something very impressive, when actually some of the more simple areas of ICT can have huge impact. Um, for example, word processing. It's a, a very simple technology to work with. Research has shown that pupils who are drafting directly onto screen are thinking as they're typing and they're more inclined to take risks with new language because as soon as it's there, it can be deleted, it can be reflected upon, it can be shared. Marie favours this website because of the diversity of activities created by MFL teachers and experts. And of course, the pupils love the fun vocabulary exercises and games. Je m'appelle Lucie. J'ai 12 ans, je vais te parler de mes animaux. J'ai trois chiens, deux bergers allemands et un labrador. C'est moi qui m'en occupe. Ils sont très affectueux. There are many different ways of communicating with young people in target language countries and there are more and more different types of ICT available to us um, to do just that. Um, very often these channels of communication are immediate and very often they're very um, cheap and, and easy to um, use. So more and more we're seeing real communication coming into the MFL classroom. I think it's good using ICT for French because it makes you learn more in the, on the computer and it helps you learn more words and understand more words into the computer and so you can like if you do at home you can like put French homework and you can like learn at home as well. There's an increasing amount of support to language teachers in particular who are introducing, developing or um, perfecting their use of ICT in the classroom. Um, for example, there's a, a website called Languages ICT, which is a collaboration between the Association for Language Learning and SILT, the National Centre for Languages. And with DFES funding, this has been brought together specifically to meet the needs of teachers at both of those three levels of development in use of ICT. What help can SILT, the National Centre for Languages, offer teachers?
We're involved in a number of uh, initial teacher training projects to ensure that there is a good spread of languages. And we work very closely with the specialist language colleges in outreach work to primary schools to ensure also that there's a good spread of languages. There are lots of continued professional development courses on offer, over a hundred um, throughout the year, uh, both uh, organised directly from SILT and through our Comenius network. Remember the phone conversations? ICT gives pupils the opportunity to record their own conversations and reflect on them. Très bien, absolument très bien. Maintenant, écoutez Amrine et sa partenaire. C'est très bien ou c'est pas mal ou c'est nul? Je crois que c'est très bien, moi. Écoutez bien. Comment te parles-tu? Je m'appelle Amrine. Comment te parles-tu? Je m'appelle Sheila. Tu as un animal? J'ai un lapin. C'est du calculeur. Il est un blanc. C'est du calculeur. Il est noir. Il est comment? Il est perso et minuscule. Il est comment? Sympa et petit. Uh, il y a des problèmes, il y a des erreurs. Levez la main. Sophie. You said black instead of noir. Oui, c'est très bien. Oui. Danny. She got a bit confused with the words. Tell me exactement. Which words? No, I can't remember. Was that because it was two conversations going on at the same time? Mm -hmm. I think it's good using the computer because it's interesting and you can go on more websites than listening to the teacher. The internet is becoming a richer and richer source of authentic materials for the modern languages teacher. Um, you can now find audio clips, video clips, even more recently things such as podcasts. A podcast is an audio broadcast from a website that can be downloaded and listened to from a hard drive or an MP3 player. You're listening to the PyCast, a podcast aimed at everyone involved in the Pi project and anyone else interested in language learning or teaching. Podcasts are created and posted on the web. You can use the search engine to find more podcasts. Through the PyCast, we're hoping to provide audio content for language learners and news stories and features about the Pi project and about languages in general. Vous écoutez PyCast sur le site pi.org.uk. You can really access so many more materials than you could even five years ago. We saw the Year 7 class earlier working on interactive software. Um, you could see they were working in pairs, but the focus was very clear. They were listening, they were reading, they were interacting, and they were getting immediate feedback on the work they were doing. And all of those facilities are unique to um, ICT. A teacher cannot be dealing individually with 30 pupils at any one point in time. And I think it's a very valuable opportunity for pupils to work collaboratively and individually. C'est quel animal? Levez la main. In the future, I've got some plans for the language lab use, not only after school, but also with links with primary schools. Now that the languages has gone into primary schools, I think it's important that they can access some of the facilities that we have here for their students and certainly the expertise as well. Quite a lot of the girls that come into the school have English as a second language. Some of them have English as a third language. But it soon becomes apparent this is, in fact, a skill. Students who might be considered weak in some subjects, they come into languages and they actually flourish. Essential Education Projectors from Hitachi sponsor ICT programs.